It takes a few years for an avocado tree to fruit, but once it does, you'll have an endless supply. Here's how to grow one at your place. What you're gonna need is your avocado tree, seaweed tonic, mulch and feed, stakes and tie, some shade cloth and staples, and a mallet or hammer. Today, I'll be planting a Haas avocado, which produce fruit like this. They're probably the most popular type in New Zealand, and they go that nice dark color when they're ready to eat. If you buy an avocado tree from store, it's always gonna be a grafted variety. You can see where this one's been grafted on here. You can grow them from seed, but you run the risk of them either not fruiting for a very long time or not at all. Grafted varieties should fruit after four years. First thing I'm gonna do is dig my hole. I've chosen this spot here because it's nice and sunny, which avos love. It's also on a bank here, so water's gonna drain away, which is great because avos don't like wet roots. Now, we're looking to get our hole just a little bit wider and about the same depth as our pot. I think that's looking pretty good. The avocados, you want this to be a little bit proud of the soil, that's looking good. Now looking at the soil, I did hit a little bit of clay, so what we're gonna do is add some gypsum clay breaker, just gonna help make the soil really free draining, which the avos are gonna love. Let's add quite a generous amount of this. And then just give it a good mix through. Now, we did give this tree a soak in some seaweed tonic yesterday to avoid any transplant shock. We did that ahead of time, so it's not too wet when we take it out of the bag. Planting avocado trees is a little bit different to planting most other trees. We wanna be really careful not to disturb the roots in here. So we're gonna cut from the bottom. We're gonna cut about halfway up the bag here. Peel that back. As it goes in the hole, it's going to backfill all the way around the hole up to that middle mark. And the aim is to avoid any air pockets around the roots as we go. Take the rest of this bag off. Just continue to backfill. And you'll notice we're not adding any fertilizer as we plant, as it can actually burn the fragile root system. And we're just going to gently press that down. Right, let's give it some water. Now we're going to be using the double stake method. Avos have got quite shallow roots, so this is going to give it some good support as it grows. I'm just going to drive these down one each side of the root ball. Nice and firm. Great, now we'll tie it up. Just position it below the first branch. Now when you do your tie, you want a little bit of tension just to help keep it supported there. We're gonna use a stapler and it'll stop the tie from slipping down. Now's a good time to remove the old stake. And then I'll add a layer of mulch to keep moisture in and weeds out. And that's the planting done. And while your tree is getting established, it's a good idea to protect it from the sun. Grab yourself some two meter lengths of 50 by 50 stakes and some shade cloth and build a shelter. Drive the stakes in about a half a meter, take the shade cloth to the ground to keep any pests out and staple it in place. After a couple of years, around the fruiting age, once your plant has filled the shelter, it should be robust enough to remove it completely. In the first two years, water your tree generously every 10 days or so. Try not to let the water pool, instead let it drain away and then add more. After two years, rainfall is normally enough, but irrigation is recommended during those dry months if possible. Interestingly, avocado flowers open as male or female at different times of the day, and the trees are classified as either type A or type B based on this timing. In type A trees, the flowers open as female in the morning and then male in the afternoon of the following day. And in type B, they open as female in the afternoon and then male the following morning. So whilst avos are self-fertile, planting a combination of different types means the flowering periods overlap, offering more opportunity for cross-pollination and therefore more fruit. 
Both types are available nationwide, but generally speaking in the South Island, type A avocados do best, like the common hearts or reed, and in the North Island, type Bs do well, so try a couple of Fuerte or Hashimoto's. Excitingly, the Cleopatra Dwarf Avocado is also now available if a smaller tree suits you better and can be planted across the country. Mature avocados love full sun, but take care to protect younger trees with a shade cloth. They're best planted in spring when the soil's warming up. Spray leaves with liquid fertilizer two months after planting to help get the tree established. After three years, use a slow-release citrus fertilizer a couple of times a year around the base of the tree, taking care not to make contact with the trunk. For maintenance, keep your tree well mulched to help root growth and reduce weeds. Shape or tidy your tree any time, but avoid big prunes in summer when the sun can burn the fresh cuts. Avos normally fruit every second year from September through to April. The fruit only ripens once picked and will stay rock hard if they're not ready. To check yours, pick just the one and see if it ripens before harvesting the lot. Avocados can be sensitive. If your tree's losing fruit or needs some attention, come and see us in store. Growing avocados is a long-term project, but it's well worth the effort. Give it a go in your garden. And make sure you subscribe to the Mighty 10 YouTube channel for more great content or click here to watch more.